Hi, hello, this is Giri, teaching 10th Mathematics in the chapter Real Numbers. Here is the annual academic calendar 2020 and 21 and this is the first week, fourth video. In this video, we will learn the questions and solutions from exercise 1.2. Dear children, now exercise 1.2. Here is question number 1. Express each of the following numbers as a product of its prime numbers. Express each of the following numbers as a product of its prime numbers. Here is the first bit 140. Second number is 156. Third number is 3825. Fourth bit 5005. And fifth bit 7429. Let us solve. The first bit now we have to express 140 as the product of prime numbers if you look at 140 we can find 0 in units place therefore it is divisible by 2 so you can write 140 as 2 into 70 again 70 is divisible by 2 therefore first of all you write this 2 and later 70 as 2 into 35 now 35 is not divisible by 2 is it divisible by 3? No. Then this is divisible by 5. First of all, you write 2 into 2. Later, 35 can be written as 5 into 7. Therefore, in total, 140 can be written as 2 into 2, that is 2 square into 5 into 7. Now we will solve another bit, that is 156. Second bit is 156. Since the unit space is 6, it is divisible by 2. 2 into 78. Write this first 2. Again, since 8 is 8, 2 into 78, 39 times. Therefore, it is 2 into 2 into 39. Now, 39 is not divisible by 2, but it is divisible by 3. 3 into 39, 13 times. Now, 2 into 2 is 2 square into 3 into 13. And another bit. Let us solve fourth bit now. 5005 5005 since the units place is not an even number it is not divisible by 2 if we add you will get 10 which is also not divisible by 3 since you can find 5 units place it is divisible by 5 we know therefore this is 5 into 1001 again this 1001 is divisible by 7 therefore 5 into 7 into 143 this 143 is divisible by 11. Therefore, this is 5 into 7 into 11 into 13. This is how you can divide any number as prime factors. Now, question number 2. Find the LCM and HCF of the following numbers by prime factorization method. I shall repeat. Find the LCM and HCF of the following numbers by prime factorization method. Here is the first bit. 12, 15, 21, second bit 17, 23, 29, third bit 8, 9 and 25 and fourth bit 72 and 108 and we may solve two bits in this solution now. First bit is 12, 15, 21. First of all we divide 12 as prime factors. 12 is 2 into 6, 6 is 2 into 3. Therefore in total 12 is 2 into 2 into 3 and 15. 15 is 3 into 5 and 21. 21 is 3 into 7. Now let us find HCF first of all. How to find HCF? HCF is the product of all common factors with their least exponents. First of all write the common factors from all the three values. From all the three numbers what are the common factors? Here 2 is a factor of 12 but you cannot find 2 in 15 therefore leave it. Here 3 is a factor of 12, 3 is also a factor of 15 and 3 is also a factor of 21. Therefore, you write 3. And there is no other common factor. Therefore, HCF of 12, 15 and 21 is 3. HCF is the product of common factors with their least exponents. Next, let us find LCM. In order to find LCM, list out all the factors. The factors of 12... 2 into 2. You write it. 
here one three here also one three here also one three you write the three here five different factor is five here the different factor is seven you write all the different factors and then you multiply now two two is four four three is twelve twelve five is sixty and sixty seven is four hundred and twenty therefore lcm is the product of all factors with their highest exponents and the second bit i mean we will solve the fourth bit now 72 and 108 72 let us divide 72 into prime factors 2 in 72 36 times and again 2 in 36 18 times and again 2 in 18 9 times and now this 9 can be written as 3 into 3 now 2 into 2 into 2 is 2 cube into 3 square and again 108 2 in 108 54 times and 2 in 54 27 times and 3 in 27 9 times and 9 3 in 9 3 times therefore this is 2 into 2 2 square 3 into 3 into 3 3 cube you wrote 72 as 2 cube into 3 square and 108 as 2 square into 3 cube and let us find HCF HCF is the product of common factors with least exponents. Now you observe the factors of 72 and 108. Here 72 factors 2 and 3. Here also 108 factors 2 and 3. Therefore the common factors are 2 and 3. Next least exponents. <coughs> Out of 2 cube and 2 square the least exponent is 2. Therefore we write 2 square. Out of 3 square and 3 cube, the least exponent is 2. Therefore, you write 3. Therefore, you write 3 square. Now, 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9. 4 into 9 is 36. Therefore, HCF of 72 and 108 is 36, where HCF is the product of common factors with their least exponents. Next, LCM. In order to write LCM, LCM is the product of all factors with their highest exponents. Again, here the factors are 2 and 3. Here also factors are 2 and 3. Therefore, write 2 and 3 first of all. Then what about the exponents? Here the exponent of 2 is 3. Here the exponent of 2 is 2. The highest exponent is 3. Therefore, you write 2 cube. And this is 3 square and this is 3 cube. Highest exponent is 3 cube. We write 3 cube. 2 cube is 8. 3 cube is 27. And 8 27 is 216. Therefore, LCM is the product of all factors with their highest exponents. Now, question number 3. Check whether 6 power n can end with the digit 0 for any natural number n. Here is the solution. We have given the number 6 power n. You divide 6 into prime factors. 6 can be written as 2 into 3. Therefore, 6 power n is 2 into 3 whole power n. But the question is we have to check whether 6 power n is n with 0. Here the factors of 6 are only 2 and 3. But in order to get 0 at the end, 0 means it should be either the multiple of 10. If it is a multiple of 10, 10 is nothing but 2 into 5. Therefore 2 and 5 should be the factors. In any number, if 2 and 5 are the factors, then that number may end with 0. But here in 6, the factors are 2 and 3. But 5 is not a factor of 6. Since 5 is not a factor of 6, 2 and 5 are not there as factors of 6. It is not end with 0. To end with 0, we should have 2 and 5. But 5 is not a factor of 6. Therefore, 6 power n can't end with the digit 0 for any natural number n. Question number 4. Explain why 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 and 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 are composite numbers. I shall repeat. Explain why 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 and 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 are composite numbers. Here is the solution. Let us consider the first bit. 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13. Here this is 
one expression and this is other expression. You can find 13 in both. Therefore, take 13 common. If we take 13 common, then 7 into 11 are there in the first space. And this is 13, you took already 13 common, therefore 1 is there. As 13 is nothing but 13 into 1, you took already 13 common, therefore 1. This is 13 into 7, 11, 77 plus 1. This is 13 into 78. For this product, this whole number can be written as 13 into 78. If you observe this, it has 1 as a factor. And it has the whole product has a factor and 13 is a factor and 78 is also a factor and besides this there are two and other factors are also there therefore there are more than two factors since there are more than two factors this number given number is a composite number and second bit 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 1 plus 5 and again you take 5 common now 5 if you take 5 common then you have 7 into 6 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 if you take 5 common from 5 into 1 we have 1 this is 5 times of if you multiply 7 into 6 into 4 into 3 into 2 you will get 1008 plus 1 this is 5 into 1009 again besides 1 and the whole number this 5 and 1009 are also factors therefore the given number has more than two factors and it is a composite number what is meant by composite number students good composite number means it should have more than two factors any number with more than two factors is called composite number then how can you call a number which is having only two factors okay the number with only two factors is called prime number. Then is there any number with less than two factors? Good. One is the number with less than two factors. One has only one factor. Therefore, one is neither prime nor composite. Now look at question number five. How will you show that 17 into 11 into 2 plus 17 into 11 into 5 is a composite number and explain? In the same model you can do this also here the given question is 17 into 11 into 2 plus 17 into 11 into 5 here if you observe these two values 17 into 11 is common therefore it is 17 into 11 into here it this is 2 plus this is 5 2 plus 5 17 into 11 into 2 plus 5 is 7 therefore the given number is written as 17 into 11 into 7 for this 1 is a factor 7 is a factor 11 is a factor 17 is a factor how many factors good there are more than two factors since the given number has more than two factors it is a composite number now question number six what is the last digit of 6 power 100 here 6 power 1 is 6 if you find 6 square, 6 square means 6 into 6 is 36. 6 cube, 6 into 6 into 6 is 216. And if you find 6 power 4, it is 1296. Like this. If you observe 6 power 1 and with 6, 6 square units digit is 6. 6 cube units digit is 6. 6 power 4 units digit is 6 and so on. Therefore, the last digit of 6 power 100 is 6 only and if you have any doubts you can post them in the comment section thank you thank you one and all